evaluate these absolute value expressions. So keep in mind when you are evaluating them, it's the distance from zero. So this is 25 thirds. Absolute value turns it into a positive number. But when you have that negative outside the absolute value bars, it makes it the opposite. So the absolute value of 8.95 is 8.95, but then we use the opposite of 8.95. Since that negative symbol is outside. Which of these fishermen does not belong? Some might argue that fisherman B does not belong because the line above water and the fishing line below water are equivalent. Others might argue that fisherman D does not belong because the rest have 16 feet of line. So 4 plus 12 is 16, 8 plus 8 is 16, and 10 plus 6 is 16. But 12 plus 30 would give him 42 feet of fishing line. So you can make an argument for several of these fishermen and why they don't belong. parts A through E, consider the situation from the video of the fishing boat and the net. A. Use a vertical number line to sketch the situation. Include sea level, the boat, the top of the rope, and the net in your sketch. So we have sea level is here at zero. We have the top of the rope was 23, so that's between 20 and 25. And then we have the net at negative 38, which is between negative 35 and negative 40. And it also asked us to sketch the boat and the sea level. So we had the water, the boat was on the water, then it went up to the top of the rope and came all the way down for the net. What was the elevation of the top of the rope? The top of the rope was 23 feet and it was above the water so it was positive. What was the elevation of the net? It was 38 feet, but it was below sea level, so it should be represented by a negative number. Interpret the meaning of negative 38 is less than 23 in this situation. Well, the elevation of the net is lower than the elevation of the top of the rope.
interpret the meaning of the absolute value of negative 38 is greater than the absolute value of 23 in this situation. This shows that there is a farther distance of rope below the water than above the water. What does the absolute value of negative 38 represent? That is the length of the rope from the net to sea level. Remember the absolute value talks about distance, so it's the distance between sea level and the net. What does the absolute value of 23 represent? Well, that is the length of the rope from the top to sea level. So it is 23 feet of rope sticking out of the water. We can think of both of these absolute values as representing the distance between two points, like the distance between the net and sea level, or the distance between the net or the sea level and the top of the rope. How long is the rope? Should we use a negative number for the length of the rope or a positive number? When we go out and we measure using a measuring tape, we don't tell our friend, oh, that piece of wood was negative 12 feet. We would just say the distance as a positive number. So we should use a positive number to represent the length of the rope. There were 38 feet below the water and 23 feet above the water. So that would give us 61 feet of rope altogether. For parts A through D, consider the diagram showing the sailor in a boat directly above the scuba diver. What is the distance from the top of the sailor's head to the scuba diver's feet? So the top of his head is at four. So from four to sea level, that's a distance of four feet. And then from sea level to the scuba diver, that's a distance of five feet. So the distance from the head of the sailor to the feet of the scuba diver is 13 feet. Which is closer to sea level, the scuba diver or the top of the sailor's head? Well, four is smaller than five. So four would be closer than a distance of five, which means that the sailor is closer to sea level. What is the distance from the scuba diver to the ocean floor in feet? The scuba diver is at negative five and the ocean floor is at negative 15. So if we would count one, two, three, four, five. Oh, but they're counting by twos. Can you see that on the axis here? It goes five, seven, so that's two, four, six, eight, ten. From five to fifteen, that was a distance of ten. Interpret the meaning of the absolute value of negative fifteen is greater than the absolute value of four in this situation. Well, this one represents the ocean floor, and this one represents the sailor. So the ocean floor is farther 
from sea level than the sailor. If needed, use the thermometer to complete problems three and four. On the same day, the temperature is 20 degrees Fahrenheit in Omaha and negative 12 in Chicago. The temperature in, Minis in Missoula is not the same as the temperature in Omaha, but the temperature in Missoula is the same distance from zero as the temperature in Omaha. What is the temperature in Missoula? So if it's not the same temperature, but it is the same distance from zero, then it needs to be the opposite. A number and its opposite are both the same distance from zero. So it has to be negative 20 degrees Fahrenheit. The temperature in Boston is lower than the temperature in Omaha. So lower than 20, so some number below 20. But the temperature in Boston is closer to zero than the temperature in Chicago. So it has to be closer than negative 12 is from zero. What is a possible temperature in Boston? There are multiple correct answers that you can write here. 8, for example, is below positive 20, and 8 is also closer to 0 than 12 would be. You could also be at negative 5. That's still below 20, and it's closer to 0 than negative 12 is. C, the temperature in Buffalo is negative 7 degrees Fahrenheit. How much lower is the temperature in Chicago than in Buffalo? So how much farther is it from negative seven to negative 12? Well, if we're moving from seven to 12, we would go eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. That's a difference of five degrees. You could also subtract 12 minus seven is five. When Sasha wakes up, the temperature is negative 16 degrees Fahrenheit. When she comes home from school, the temperature is 21 degrees Fahrenheit. By how many degrees does the temperature increase between the time Sasha wakes up and the time she comes home from school? Explain. Well, the temperature changes 16 degrees to get back to zero. And it also increases 21 degrees from 0 to positive 21. So total increase it increased 16 and 21. If we combine those, that would be 37 degrees. An earthworm is at an elevation of negative three and a half feet and is directly below a squirrel. The squirrel is at an elevation of one foot. The squirrel is directly below a bird and the bird is at an elevation of three and a half feet. Is the squirrel closer to the earthworm? or to the bird. Okay, so it might be helpful to have a little sketch here. The squirrel is at one, and the bird is at three and a half, and the 
earthworm is at negative three and a half. So from one to three and a half, that would be a distance of two and a half. But from here to the squirrel, that would be three and a half to get back to zero, and one more, so four and a half. The squirrel is closer to the bird. It is two and a half feet from the bird. and four and a half feet to the worm. The elevation of the bottom of a lake directly below a dock is negative 14 feet. The elevation of the surface of the water is zero. So here's the surface of the water at zero. And then the bottom of the lake is at negative 14 and a half. The dock is the same distance above the surface of the water as the bottom of the lake is below the surface of the water. So the dock is 14 and a half above the water. What is the elevation of the dock? Positive 14 and a half. What is the distance from the dock to the bottom of the lake in feet? Well this distance to the water was 14 and a half and the distance from the water to the floor was 14 and a half. Fourteen plus fourteen makes twenty-eight and a half and a half make a hole. So twenty-eight plus a hole is twenty-nine feet. And explain. It is fourteen and a half to the water from the dock and another fourteen and a half from the water. To the floor or to the bottom. Check back in for lesson 10 in a future video.